Hey guys, today we want to look at some of the best resources for when you're studying the Bible. Stick around, we're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I'm giving you truth for life. Thanks so much for watching again this week. And listen, if you enjoy my channel, subscribe. I have new videos coming out every single Tuesday. And I want you to check out my free app that's in the Google Play Store and the App Store. It has all of our articles, all of our videos, a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week digital radio station filled with preaching and teaching just for you guys. So today we want to look at some worthwhile Bible study tools. And I'm just going to give you a few of these that I use myself. Obviously, there's so many many commentaries and lexicons and dictionaries out there. You could spend years going through all of those, but I just want to give you a few things that will help you in studying your Bible. Number one, nowadays, many people are doing their Bible study on their computer, their tablet, or their phone. And I use an app on all three called Olive Tree Bible Reader. Inside Olive Tree, you have a bookstore where you can purchase all kinds of Bible translations, all kinds of commentaries, lexicons, dictionaries that will build a library inside that one app so that you can quickly jump back and forth between translations and uh, commentaries and lexicons to help you in your Bible study tools. The reason that I originally chose Olive Tree Bible Reader brings me to number two, and that is I suggest taking a look at Dake's Notes on the Bible. In fact, if you go to any Christian bookstore, you'll probably find a Dake's Bible, which is a King James Version Bible filled with Finnis Dake's Notes on the Bible. He was an amazing man who was able to recite the entire Bible from memory. And he had lots of insight on the scripture. And while I may not agree with all of his doctrine inside the notes, his notes are invaluable for studying the word of God. And within the Olive Tree Bible Store, it was the only place I could find online to get a digital version of the Dake's notes on the Bible. And so within the split screen, I can have my one translation on the top and on the bottom, all of Dake's notes on the Bible that are hyperlinked because he references many verses when he's giving you notes, making it very easy to navigate through his notes and through your different studies. Number three, let me recommend to you an app called eSword. And while it does a lot of the same things that Olive Tree Bible Reader does, one of the things that I love about it is that as you're reading through the King James Version of the Bible, they put every Strong's number right next to the word in the Bible as you're reading it that is clickable, that will bring a pop-up window showing you the entire Greek and Hebrew definition of that Greek or Hebrew word in the original language. Makes it super easy to study through individual scriptures and see what the original author intended when he wrote those verses. And number four, let me recommend to you probably what is the gold standard in Bible study tools, and that is Logos Bible software. Now listen, there's a lot of different packages that you can buy, and obviously none of the things I'm recommending to you today are sponsored by any of these companies. These are just things that I use, but you can find all different types of entry points and entry levels into the Logos Bible software from a beginner level, very cheap, all the way to a mastery level where you can spend serious money. But I think anybody that is serious about studying the scripture is willing to spend some money to get some good software or buy some good commentaries to help them understand the word of God a little bit better. The nice thing about the Logos Bible software is now they have a way that no matter what denomination or style of Christianity you're coming from, they have commentaries, lexicons, dictionaries grouped within denomination that will help you where you're at studying the Bible. Whatever you might be using, it is important to spend your time studying studying the word of God and getting it into your heart and into your spirit, it will change your life. Take at least 10 or 15 minutes every day, if that's all you can do at the beginning, and read the word of God and pray and ask God to open the eyes of your understanding so that you can see what he's saying to you through his word. Hey guys, thanks for watching again today. Listen, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments in the section below and hear what you're using to study the Bible. And don't forget until next week, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next time. Oh,